Matt here with Atlas Precision Consulting. In today's video, we're going to show you how to uh, run inventory ranking classifications or to reclass your ABC classes. Um, and then keep in mind, this is a test system. We don't really have a lot of sales data in the system, but I at least want to show you the process. Um, first thing you want to do is you're going to want to create a ranking criteria. Um, especially if you have multiple locations you want to run at different times, or if you want to rank your values uh, differently for different locations, whatever the reason may be. Uh, so to create one, you're just going to uh, give it an ID. You're going to name it. I'm going to call this location 10 ranking for the purposes of this. I'm going to go ahead and pre-populate uh, the location ID of 10. I'm going to change this to cost of sales because that's what I want to rank these by. Um, down here, you need to have a sales and cost basis. Uh, if your system is FIFO, you would want to change this site FIFO uh, or, or whatever uh, cost basis. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use moving average. And for here, I'm just going to pick price one. Um, this is really not affecting the ranking. It's going to affect what you're really seeing on the uh, on the actual inventory ranking. The actual ranking comes from uh, the rank values. Uh, so we're going to save that setting. So that way, every time we come in here, and again, I named it 10 just because I, it's just easy for me to type in location 10 and it, you can see it populates all of my uh, previous settings. And I'm just gonna right click anywhere in this screen and hit rank. Now this isn't actually doing anything in the system. This is going out and grabbing all of your existing items and showing you where they fit with the top item all the way down to the last item. Now this test system doesn't really have any sales in it other than the one item that I've been playing with. Um, so it's not really gonna give us a true world representation. I will say though, if you see all zeros in all of these columns, especially this, uh, this column here, that means somebody didn't run demand forecasting. I forgot to mention, it's important to know that you can't do this unless demand forecasting has been run uh, for your time period. Um, now, some people say they want to rank every month. Some people say it should be once a quarter. I'm in the once a quarter uh, camp just because I've seen items go back and forth from A to B, A to B, A to B, and C to D, and C to D, and so on uh, when you're doing it every month, which can cause some over inventory or under inventory purchasing. Uh, so again, this is just going to show you all your items, where they fall in the overall ranking. If you did run this for multiple locations, there would be a way to collapse it down and look at different locations at the same time. Uh, if you had a lot of items, it would take longer to run. Um, so we're going to, again, this is just information. Uh, I'm going to right click here. You can actually print this ranking report, uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to reclassify. And again, this right click is still not posting anything. This is going to, in the real world, you wouldn't see all the exact same amount of items pulled over unless it's the very first time you've ever done a ranking. Um, generally, you would see, you know, go from a thousand items down to here's 60 items that their rankings changed. Uh, what this will do is it'll show you its current class and then what it's suggested class to be. Uh, and again, keep in mind, this is not great data to show you what it's doing. Uh, if you wanted to just take whatever it said, uh, you can come over here to the select column and you can right click on that and hit select all. And it will go through depending on your list, uh, take, may take an extra second and, and it will highlight this new column. But you still have the ability to say, you know what, I'm going to change this to a B. So you have one more out uh, before you save it. So once you've selected, once you're, you're comfortable with your changes, the last thing you do is you're going to right click and you're gonna hit apply changes. Again, you can print them if you wanna review them in, in paper form, uh, but apply changes will go out and again, depending on the size of your location, quantity of items, it could take anywhere from you know a minute all the way up to five minutes and longer, depending. Uh, I would recommend uh, not doing that uh, in the middle of business. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Uh, if you like this video or if you want to see other videos like this or any other kind of videos, put a comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And Atlas is always here for your Profit 21 help. Thanks, guys.